Hi again, Golden Flashes fans. Welcome to another edition of the Golden Flashes Flashback right here on KentStateSports.com. I'm Ty Linder. For the first time in seven years, the Kent State University men's golf team won a fall championship as they were able to take the Inverness Classic. They only played one round, but thanks to Taylor Pendrith's one under par score of 70 on the 71 par course, the Flashes did indeed capture that first fall championship since 2004. They'll go to Dublin, Ohio for the Jack Nicklaus Invitational next week. Finally, ball team was able to snap the set losing streak, but not the overall match losing streak, falling to Ohio at home 3-0. Then got into a good one at Central Michigan on Saturday night, breaking the streak, but still losing three sets to one. It won't get any easier, but it will get a little bit more interesting for the volleyball team. At Buffalo on Friday night at 7, and then the first Wagon Wheel event, and that Wagon Wheel Challenge comes over at James A. Rhodes Arena on the campus of Akron, 5 o'clock on Saturday. Make plans to support the volleyball team in that one. Remember, all points going toward that PNC Wagon Wheel Challenge. Field hockey team now 4-8 and eight on the season, 2-1 and one in Mid-American Conference play as they'll knock off the Ball State Cardinals. Two goals by Kent State in the first six minutes of action. Carla Joel with the first, Rebecca Lee with the second, knocking off Ball State 4-1. to one. Field hockey team goes to Mount Pleasant on Saturday at 1 p.m. Soccer team continues its fine start. Now 8-3 on the season, 2-1 in conference play after splitting a pair of conference matches this past weekend. They went to Ypsilanti and knocked off the Eastern Michigan Eagles by a final score of 2-1. to one. In that one, Jacqueline Dutton and Sarah Henderson accounted for the Kent State offense. But there was no offense to be seen against Central Michigan. Chips with the shutout, 3-0. But the Flashes will be at home taking on Western Michigan on Friday at 4 and Northern Illinois on Sunday at 1. Come out to Zeller Field to see the soccer team try to improve on that solid start. Through two rounds at the Windy City Classic, the Golden Flashes women's golf team currently finds itself in 6th place in a 15-team field. We'll have results as this event goes final next week in the flashback. Michael Heller's eighth place run at the All-Ohio Championships in Cedarville paced Kent State's cross-country teams this past weekend. Men's side finishing second in a field of 44, while the women were 11th in a field of 47. Ball State Invitational is up next for the Thin Clads. Conference play also starting for Daryl Hazel's Golden Flashes football team. Not the way we wanted. 17-10 loss to a team in Ohio in which many feel will be the winner of the Mid-American Conference East Division. Flash has had some chances blocking two Ohio kicks in the first half, but not quite able to make it hurt for the Bobcats. Golden Flashes continue the conference opening road trip. They'll go to Northern Illinois to take on the Huskies on Saturday at 335 at Husky Stadium in DeKalb. Flashes can split the first two. They come home for a long homestand. Be right back in the thick of the conference race. And here at the Mac Center, they're gearing up for more volleyball, but you can make plans to join us for Mac Madness. It's coming your way on Friday, October the 14th. Make plans to join us at 8 o'clock as we honor both the men and women's basketball teams right after volleyball here at the Mac Center to get you set for what should be an exciting basketball season. This has been the Kent State Sports Flashback. I'm Ty Linder. Go Flashes!